The village life in Shadim typically revolves around its animals, the cows, the moose, yaks and horses. The animals are so important here as they are the main and sometimes the only source of income for the people of this remote village. Life is especially tough during winters when grass is not that abundant and the villagers need to ensure that their animals are well fed in order for them to survive the harsh winters. The villagers keep the milk giving cows and the moose at home along with their calves and take them out to graze every day. Two people, one from each different family, are assigned the grazing duties every day and they take out all the animals to graze in various locations surrounding the village. It is a relaxing time for the herders. They sit at a central location, make some hot tea and just keep an eye on the animals from a distance to make sure that they do not wander too far away. Later in the evening, they round up all the animals and bring them back to the village for the night. The bigger yaks are left free to graze by themselves in the mountains. They come down to the village occasionally in search of salt. The villagers feed them the salt and send the yaks back to the mountains. The yaks can easily survive on their own and they are brought back to the village only when the snow is too deep for them to find any grass in the mountains. The milk from the cows and the moose is used to make cheese and butter. These dairy products form the main source of income for the people of Shade. The butter is sold in places like Leh and Lahul for around 500 rupees a kilo and the dry cheese or churpe is sold for around 400 rupees. The villagers also process wool from sheep and goats to make a traditional fabric called the nambu. 
processing this wool is a main activity during winters when the women gather together at different houses to clean and spin the wool as a group indu kangla bomma denana dani irambo zorje Previously this wool used to be from the sheep and goats in the village but now they buy the wool from outside as there are no sheep and goats at Shade the villagers had to stop rearing these animals as there are no young people in the village to take them out to graze every day all the youth from Shade have gone off to places like Leh and Padum to study and to look for better opportunities and most of them just end up staying back and do not return back to shade another common activity in shade during winters are the festivals and prayers the loser festival is the biggest of them all with the celebration going on for almost a week soon after loser the villagers start the nim lok prayers nim in the local language refers to the sun and lok means to return back so the nim lok prayers are done after the winter solstice is over to welcome the return of the sun the villagers have many such prayers and festivals throughout the winter until the start of spring when the real work starts in their fields Nandani ni ni bo 